Hello friends, hope you all are doing well and staying safe. Welcome back to the Football Mania to bring you all the latest news and insights from the football world. What I am going to reveal today to all of you is actually true. The first time I heard this news, I was shell-shocked. I was astonished at the way things have unfolded at Chelsea Football Club with a history of being champions. This is a club which has a very, very big history in terms of silverware and they always want success. And after having a really successful owner in Roman Abramovich, it is absolutely shocking that the UK government has officially sanctioned Roman Abramovich and the sale of the club has been put on hold. Yes, everything comes on the aftermath of the war between Russia and Ukraine. However, putting things into perspective, Roman Abramovich decided to sell this football club. His beloved Chelsea football club, which was his pet project, which was his everything. He loved this club to the core and everything he did was for the holistic development and the welfare of all the stakeholders within this club. The fans, the players, the coaches, the medical staff, the support personnel, all the administrative staff, whoever is concerned with this football club, everyone is shell-shocked. And guess what? Roman Abramovich has 81 days to sell this club. Yes, that is official coming from the UK government. And as, as per the repercussions are concerned from this news, Chelsea Football Club cannot transfer any player at the end of the season they have been officially sanctioned and this has also meant that only season ticket holders can come to watch the matches and anyone who is associated with Chelsea other than a season ticket holder cannot enter the matches and it is a really surprising news because when I first heard this news I was thinking that okay Roman Abramovich is now selling all his assets all his properties in the UK and wants to go and you know help all the victims as part of the Ukraine war and rightly so being a Russian billionaire it is one of his you know main obligations I would say feeling that kind of emotional pain for Ukraine is something really heartening to see Roman Abramovich has been a very trustworthy owner he has a lot of you know assets in UK and it is really surprising that how the UK government has taken this into perspective and Chelsea has always been a club which has relied on success. He has spent more than one billion pounds and it has been a really really astonishing turnaround for a club which has a capacity of roughly I think 45,000 to be honest in Stamford Bridge and it is not a lot and for the kind of investment that Roman Abramovich has made for all the kind of you know facility development that he has invested in this club has reached great heights they won the FIFA Club World Cup recently under Thomas Tuchel and even before that they won the UEFA Champions League against Manchester City last season and it is really really surprising how things have turned around for the downfall of Chelsea and it has also been confirmed that 3Mobile, the official kit sponsor and brand sponsor for Chelsea Football Club have, you know, withdrawn from their sponsorship deal with the football club. This is a very, very, you know, sad situation for all Chelsea fans and, you know, it is something which I never expected. And Roman Abramovich is someone who has done a lot in terms of community work around the club in terms of you know looking after the welfare of people of all the stakeholders within the club and when you have an owner who is so associated and so attached with all the club operations you know that this club is going to reach great heights however this is one of the most saddest days for any football fan and especially those who are associated with Chelsea football club however things are not yet sorted out his all his assets have been frozen Chelsea football club sale has been frozen and it is even the merchandise of all the jerseys everything all the sale has been frozen and they can I think spend only 20,000 pounds overall for all their expenses and it is something of a big big shock for everyone and 
I think the players were traveling on a coach en route to Norwich when they heard this news, when all their phones triggered with messages. And it is a very, very surprising thing what has unfolded. And it will be interesting to see what kind of stance the UK government takes going further if there is no proper bid and after 81 days, like if the club is unsold, it will be very, very interesting to see what action will the UK government take. Roman Abramovich is desperate to sell the club and, you know, retain all the money that he has invested in. And it has been confirmed that a bid of at least four billion pounds is something what he would actually consider for anyone to buy this club. Yes, that is, I think, one and a half pounds more than the market value of Chelsea Football Club. And it has always, due to its success in recent years, increased in terms of market value across European football clubs. And the revenue which they earn is just extraordinary for the kind of success that they have been getting recently. They have an immense revenue system, revenue source. And I think the global fan base of this club also increased with time. After seeing legends like Didier Drogba, Frank Lampard and even Samuel Eto'o, I just feel that this club deserves much more. This is a very, very tragic story which has unfolded over the last, I think, 48 hours. And it is something which Chelsea Football Club have to try to you know, survive in because all the legacy, all the fame and all the success which this club thrives on is on the line. And if a owner like Roman Abramovich goes out of this club, his legacy will anyway be here forever. But what has unfolded is really, really shocking. And as far as UK government is concerned, they have seen all the, you know, formalities in place. They have seen how the club has operated and they must have taken this decision based on some evidence, based on some facts and figures which justifies that this is the right decision. So guys, this is something which any Chelsea fan would obviously not like. And as far as Roman Abramovich is concerned, he has to do something within 81 days. Otherwise, all these club sanctions, everything will be revoked. So it is once again something which I never expected. But Chelsea being one of the most dominant clubs in terms of recent success, in terms of silverware, have to undergo this kind of pain in the back end of the pitch. So guys, please let me know what are your thoughts. Do you think that Chelsea will finally emerge out of this situation unscathed? Will they be able to survive this, you know, sanction? Will they be able to make a very key decision and bring the club out of this mess? A lot of these legendary players who have been involved in this club need to show their unity in support for the club and ensure that Roman Abramovich is in safe hands, a, an owner who has always loved this club. Any owner in the other club would probably not be doing this. And I think it is something which any club should have an owner who is so attached. And I would say he has had this project as a very successful one. So once again, guys, Please stay tuned for regular updates from the world of football and for all Chelsea fans, I hope that you are, you know, backing your team, backing your club to make the right decisions. So stay tuned guys and what do you feel about this massive news? Please put it in the comment section and until next time, stay safe and take care.